No way. It says here that Warner Brothers delays Sushi Squad after fan backlash. Well, well, with the way that's phrased, it would seem as if we had something to do with this game, this, this joke of a game being delayed. And it's from Jason Schreier before anybody calls into question whether or not this source is credible. This is delayed, throwing it firmly into the realm of competition with Spider-Man 2. What a good idea. Imagine how badly the optics might have hit somebody for them to decide, you know what? It would be smarter for us to take our always online looter shooter and, and go somewhere. Well, oh my, I just realized that I had my dislike ratios all up in the screen. 46,000, 42,000, 17,000, 15,000, 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And if you're like me, you aren't the only one. You know, I used to have buttons that I could like punctuate things like that with. Maybe this button will do. It's coming through the it's coming through the speaker. Stop. Okay. But Oh, it punctuated it already, you know what I'm saying? So going over to the comment section, you know, I couldn't I man. I can't get enough of it. Cause you already know without going to the comment section that the response is basically gonna be like, good. You know what I mean? Good. Oh, they delayed it? Good. And the first comment. My man said, good, get rid of the battle pass garbage and the always online stuff. That's pretty crazy, right? Even if you wanted to play it solo. In this soon to inevitably shut down because you're praying people are going to keep coming back to your hamster wheel. Got to get those daily login bonuses. You think you're Genshin? You got jiggly asses and, and titties and waifus, bro. Well, you know what I mean? Woke Studio can't make something that people go ahead to come back for. The best you can hope for is to trick people through the door one time. One time. Multiple times. Yeah, wow. This person says, gameplay looked fun and interesting. People were just upset about the battle pass. Yeah. Yeah, we got another one telling everybody who's upset about what. Yup, it's just the battle pass. Not the homogenized, like, shoot the purple weak spot gameplay. You watch that trailer, you could come out of it with, at the, at the very least, seven things that just make it seem, as and as I said, what was my favorite comment? It's a compliment and an insult at the same time. This doesn't seem like a rock steady game. It ain't just the fact that they're tackling a new genre. It seems like, because there are red flags present, they haven't learned from things like Warframe, Path of Exile, Destiny, you name a successful live service. But y'all showing off palette swaps in your game that's built around cosmetics and more importantly, stripping those rewards from people that might have been used to unlocking them normally. And now you're going to put yourself in direct competition with a game like Spider-Man, who historically has just given people the skins from their, the, and mm, let's, I mean, what can I say? Let me not get into it. Damn, y'all bullied them to a delay. I never seen that. It's because you knew. It's because you're new. It's because you're new. And all these liquor boys knew. That's why I guess I need to talk. It's because, it, it, not because I'm trying to be the king of the hill or the most popular motherfucker. It's because I know that the people listening to me are listening because I rattle them, are listening because they are getting educated. And when Shadow of War came out, which was a follow-up to Shadow of Mordor, published by the same WB Games, they lost the damn plot with microtransactions too, and had to be bullied into taking them out of the game. The same way Avengers had to be bullied after they promised there weren't going to be any fucking cosmetic, uh, you know, ec extra cosmetic microtransactions. But then, of course, they broke that promise, and y'all had to bully them into coming correct. Just like when IP addresses were exposed and you got shills with a hand up their ass talking about it's not that big a deal. It only affects a small amount of people, nigga. Maybe, maybe 
The very least, the bare minimum that that pussy ass Crystal Dynamics studio could have done was just say on their Twitter, hey, your private information is being posted on screen. That was too much because what they care about is the bottom line. We know that you're making a product. We recognize that you are trying to make money with what you're doing, but that doesn't mean that you can just forget meeting us halfway. Why the fuck should anyone pay you for something that is not appealing, that is not interesting, and worse, is following a trend that went out of style damn near five to ten years ago, bro? And I say that because Destiny only works because they put the ass in. The whole ass, not a half. So if y'all gonna half-ass this game with the people remaining at the studio after the eight years, you know, that passed between Arkham and now, I always love bringing up fucking uh, uh, From Software. From Software put out Sekiro, they put out Bloodborne, they put out um, Dark Souls 3, and they put out Elden Ring in the time that, <laughs> in the time since Arkham Knight coming out and now. Think about that. Do you think shoot the purple weak spot is going to be some some oh it's going to be some game ch it looks like it looks like multiple year old Fortnite gameplay. And nobody's saying that that couldn't be fun. You guys could go scoop poop on the fucking freeway right now with your friends and it would be fun. And I'm sure if they could captured that Borderlands experience, it's just looking at the loot, it's clear that that uh, there's no depth to that loot. And I don't, you know, throwing a bunch of things up in the air and hoping that something, you know, uh, that's wild. That's wild. Y'all are wild. And I can't even, I can't even read comments without reacting because it's sad. Somebody said, please just remake the whole game. Damn. I had chills. My live reaction. Damn. I've already talked. Come on, everything's bullying to these little kids. You know what I'm saying? If, if we're right, then it's just... If we're lie. right, it's just spitting the truth. What you want us to tell you? That we gonna buy it and then not buy it? We're not trans people. We're not Twitter niggas. That be virtue signaling and saying all of this bullshit. We're telling you the truth. This shit don't appeal to us. What you stripping the fucking femininity out of Harley Quinn for? You got one bitch and you put her on the box looking like that? Yo do better the competition does better even bowing to china the competition does better you should be ashamed this western woke shit got me fucked up man angry joe and his pussy ass got me fucked up that's how y'all shills work if you disagree you're a hater you're a racist you're a phobe suck our balls you need our money you will supply what we demand it is not bullying to say that doesn't appeal to me and I'm not going to fucking buy it. You're damn right you delay in your pussy ass game. Fuck wrong with y'all niggas. Kyle does go through content creators and publications and articles and I'm reading fucking French, Italian, Spanish, Japanese fucking people talking about this game. And don't think that it's a small thing that Harley is ugly that there's a race swapped fucking character that is in your game these are the types of things that you want to immediately go it's not a big deal it doesn't matter to you so it shouldn't matter to anybody anybody that this matters to is a weirdo good those are paying consumers and i know you're thinking like a broke nigga with you no business having ass bro but if you knew then you would need to say these things you would need to try so hard to sway the narrative because sometimes people feel the way they feel for a reason and that's why this game is getting delayed. And whoever's whoever's in that minority where you're just like, oh, people were being too hard, bitch. It's a good thing that what happened with Sonic the Hedgehog happened. Because that's what secured a future for it. We'll do it again. We'll do it as many times as need be. To get, <laughs> to get companies to understand that there are some things, some lines that were never meant to be crossed. And this is one of them. Somebody says, name Oren Giladi has an interesting point he says i don't see them really being able to make any drastic changes that would address all of the backlash nobody's implying that all of the backlash needs to be addressed but if they could take three things and here's the thing i've been on the suicide squad uh, uh reddit 
And that is already an echo chamber full of the same kinds of dweebs that we saw fucking defending Marvel's Avengers, Gotham Knights, Saints Row, and they're just trying to make it seem like the only thing anybody has a problem with. It's always the only thing. It's always you nobodies implying and trying to speak for other people about what they're upset about when if you actually listened, you'd be able to hear and you'd be able to see, no pun intended, like my nigga right here is doing, the lists of things people don't like. They don't just like that it's a live service. They don't just dislike that it's a, you know, a friggin' always online thing. A lot of, that's so wild. Because we are in the midst of so many live services shutting down. I won't even bore you by listing them. But to have that going on, to then have Kevin Conroy's performance effectively held hostage in your game that potentially people may have to pay for PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live just to be able to access. So put that on top of your $70 asking price for a game that you cannot play offline because it is always online. For a game that will inevitably shut down, so it's like you're renting this bitch. Do you get what I'm saying? For a game that you can't even play single player because bots are going to be following you the whole time because that's what the game was structured for, bro. So, hey. Yeah, you're right. They're not going to be able to make the changes to address all of it. Nobody implied that they would ever be able to. But if they can, do some of but if they can take a couple of these things off. You know, and and I want this game to fail if, if for one reason exclusively, it's because of the woke women who are so triggered at an attractive woman that they won't allow them to be pretty. Because you are not going to convince me that the publisher is making you guys make these women just frumpy, boring, dull, you know? <laughs> I should leave it to Melanie Mack because as a man, I'm not allowed to speak on it. You know what I mean? But yeah, no, as, as the nigga with the wallet speaking on behalf of other people who don't have the time to jump up and talk about why they wouldn't purchase this. It's as simple as a no for them. It's as simple as a no. And that's something that is very, they're very aware of. Otherwise, we wouldn't be seeing a delay. How exciting. How exciting. And this has gone on for 12 minutes, so I should really just take it down a notch and go from there. Is there anything you want to say, Dia, before we deal with... I'll cover this later in a more, you know, amusing and entertaining way. I apologize. just want to get some of how I feel out there. But come on, man. Come on, man. There's a reason that I've been doing what I'm doing. You feel me? That's not a small amount. Off of three videos, you over 100,000? Come on, now. Come on, now, shouty. But are they going to make the women attractive? And oh. if not, do you expect more than what Marvel's Avengers had? Which was just a couple of chucklehead dumb fuck. Like these, these, the, unfortunately, they're funding that game by just throwing money at all of the skins that will come into the shop. And inevitably the, 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 the game's going down. Inevitably the, the servers may not work. Bro, I can't wait till that game is officially shut down. So that, you know, whatever problems are the problems you guys are going to keep forever. There's not going to be the, the the real copium of you thinking, oh, maybe this will get fixed. Boy, it's done. But boy, what what are y'all hoping to secure in the way of cosmetic money when you have unattractive skins? You've wasted the one woman. This is a business. You do not compete with Fortnite. You do not compete with Genshin looking like this and the scary part is dia you know you know that skins like chun li making upwards of 10 million dollars that's more than games are making so y'all out here and y'all can make these women look like anything and you're choosing to make them look away where a skin in fortnite will outsell your entire game it's food for thought it's food for thought so Call me whatever the hell you want to be. You, I'm, I'm a man enough to fucking take it. Who the fuck are you? You know what I mean? Do you think I'm spending time thinking about your bitch ass crawling up me? Please. Please. Especially when I'm right. So y'all take it easy. I'll get back to this. I'll, I'll cover it more better. Bye. Love you.